Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. So we have a brother in Toronto who contacted a landlord in regards to a rental property. Check out what happens once she discovers that he's black. Take a look at this. Racism has never ended, man. Never. If anybody has ever told you that, you know, all that stuff was in the past and people are not racist or blah, 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 blah show them this video. So I called this lady inquiring about this unit because I'm thinking about moving out. Right when she asked me, when do you want to move in? I said, May 1st, beep, beep, hung up. I really thought she was playing with me. So I text her and say, sorry, did the line cut or did you just hang up? She says, sorry, I didn't realize that you're a black guy. I really thought she was playing with me. So I said, excuse me, what? No black people allowed? Question mark, question mark. She actually said no. It's rightfully so. I'm going to mention right now that this lady was South Asian. So, you know, I just said you hung up on me because I'm black. And she said, yes, I don't like blacks. I don't know if that's not racist. Tell me what is. But yeah, man, this is clearly how difficult it is to even find or rent a space here in Toronto. Yeah, this is very, very common. 93% of black people have been discriminated against through the rental process and home buying process. 93%. Despite them qualifying for it, oftentimes they overqualify. There are even reports of black people offering up three to six months rent in advance so that they can get the property and they are still turned down. A lot of landlords will also hike up the rent. So they may be talking to you on the phone and you may not have an accent according to them or what they're hearing. They're not hearing a Jamaican accent or a Trinidadian accent or an African accent. So they immediately think, oh, this must be one of them folks. So without seeing you, they're, they're expecting to see one of them folks. And then when you show up, all of a sudden, the rent can go up to what is posted as, say, $1,500 a month. And then you, you leave, or while you're there, they'll say to you, oh, it's $1,800. And then we'll be like, well, wait a second. In your ad, it says $1,500. And they'll be like, oh, that's just a, that's a mistake. So they are deliberately hiking it up because they don't want you to rent it, but they don't want to say, oh, I don't want to because, of your, because you're black. But in this case... This woman was very brazen and said, I don't like blacks. She was very, very forthcoming about it. And so this brother is left without the opportunity to rent this place. He should file a case. I went through the same thing. I, too, was denied by a South Asian. And South Asians, they really do discriminate against black people. They feel like they are better than us. I refer to them as white adjacent because they really do feel supreme, just like white supremacists are. And they turn down a lot of black people and they frown upon black people. So what we have to do and what we have to labor to move toward is purchasing our own land or properties in Africa or a, a, a country where our people are heavily populated. And forget about these supremacists out here in Ontario, Canada, United States. Take your money, buy land somewhere else. I, we have a home in Ghana. I'm happy to know that I can pick up at any point and decide to go home. And that is what I am laboring to do. We should all thrive to do the same thing. And guess what? When we start removing our money out of the pockets of these racists, trust and believe they will be in a situation where they will be clamoring for our business. Mm -hmm. And we'll be saying, thank you, but no. So I hope this brother 
find something. I wish him luck. I know it's very, very difficult. The rental rates are super high in the province of Ontario. Like the average rent for a one bedroom in Toronto is over $2,000. So, and that's one bedroom. So when you find a spot that you know that you qualify for and can afford, it's really disheartening when you're turned down because of the color of your skin. So all the best of luck to this brother. I really, truly hope he finds something. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Also, download the African Diaspora News app. You can grab it at the Google or Apple store or head over to africandiasporanews.org and grab it there. You want to get this app. You'll have access to content you won't see here or anywhere else. Wonderful stuff. So download that app and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.